Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mindful Homestead and today we are at war. So let me explain a little bit. Every morning, Jackie gets up and she does the bulk of the morning chores. It's kind of her jam. She gets up early, she feeds and waters everyone that needs feed and water. And then she sits down on the screen porch behind me and she has her morning coffee uh, by herself. Nice early in the morning, it's kind of relaxing time for her before she has to get in her office and start doing work for the day. And today, she happened to come out here and she saw that we had a visitor in the strawberry patch. Now we have two strawberry patches and that just happened to be the one that she was looking at this morning. So we're gonna take a walk down to the other strawberry patch and see if that visitor was down there. It doesn't look like our pest has hit that little strawberry patch down there. Jackie spotted that this morning because I was actually just reading an article yesterday from our fish and game department about the influx of pests that we're having this year. And the particular pest that we're running into is a chipmunk. So all over New Hampshire this year so far, we've seen a ton of chipmunks, more than, more than we've seen in years past. It's kind of one of those things where you just, you know, it's not a weird thing, but you just kind of pick up your eyes and say, hey, what's up with all the chipmunks? We've had a few on our property this year, not many, but in years past, we haven't seen any. So for us to see chipmunks here is pretty, you know, abnormal for us. We've just kind of noticed over the years that we lived here, we never see them and now we're seeing them all of a sudden. Back over my shoulder are two holes. I noticed one of the holes early this winter, I could see that something was living in it because there was actually a little bit of frost that was building up on the outside of the hole. So something was inside there breathing and I could see it coming out. Recently, another hole has popped up and we've started seeing chipmunks kind of just moving about the property in that general area. I was hoping they weren't gonna come into the garden, but as things happen, Jackie saw it in the garden this morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the garage. We have a, have a heart trap in there somewhere, a small one chipmunk size and I'm gonna get it out and I'm gonna try to trap this thing and see what we can do. So I've got our trap right here. Um, I just had it inside. I made sure everything was not sticking. Um, Everything moves freely. I've got the safety latch on right now, so the door's not gonna close. But everything moves freely and works as it should. If I uh, remove the safety latch and trip the lever, it does snap shut. So we should be good to go. I've got my bait of choice for chipmunks. That's peanut butter. Um, this is the last of a jar of Teddy Organic only the best for our chipmunk friends. So we get our peanut butter on the spoon and just reach in and we'll smear that right on the trip plate. We want that chipmunk to really have to kind of work to get it off of there. All right, so we've got our trap all baited up. Let's go place it where we think we'll catch that chipmunk. Now I'm over by the chipmunk holes here. This is where like regularly I'll look over if we're in the backyard and I've seen the chipmunk hanging out over here. So I'm gonna start it here. If we don't catch it by the end of the day, uh, I'll probably come back and move it to someplace, possibly out near the garden, uh, someplace a little bit further from the burrow. But for now, this is where I wanna start. All right, so we've got the burrow there, and then I've got the trap set up, so we'll see what happens. Give it a little bit of time. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with the chipmunk if we catch him yet, but I do know that we can't have him eating our strawberries. We like strawberries. Nothing yet. It doesn't look like anything's touched the peanut butter, so we'll keep waiting. On the flip side, I haven't seen the chipmunk all day either. Usually we see him running along the rock wall in the back. So maybe he just, uh, maybe it moved on. I don't know.
So this is how we've been filling the pigs water thus far. They've been drinking out of just rubber dishes, the same you would feed them out of. This has worked for now, but we have this 55 gallon drum with a nipple in it. That's how we had our pigs drinking last year. It's about time that we get the pigs trained to that nipple. I emptied this mostly out and I'm going to scoot it a little bit forward and smear a whole bunch of peanut butter on the nipple and hopefully the pigs start learning. We're also gonna take one of those water buckets and put it underneath it so that they're going over there for their water and they're kind of accustomed to being in the region of the barrel when they want something in their drink. Out, you guys, I'm gonna go see Pig Mountain. Listen, guys, I'm the king of Pig Mountain. All right. Good pigs. Just like before with the trap for the chipmunk, peanut butter. It's got hundreds of uses on the farm. Pigs are really smart, so even just that little bit of peanut butter on the nipple was enough to get them interested in it. And once one pig saw that there was something delicious on there and then realized there was water coming out, the rest of the pigs jumped right in. They're using the nipple pretty well and I'm not too worried about it. I think within the next couple weeks, we'll be transitioned 100% over to using the barrel for water instead of the buckets. And I know they say when it rains, it pours. There's one more infestation we have going on on the homestead right now. And it's these things. This is the inside of our greenhouse and normally I wouldn't have much of a problem with it. There's always bugs in the greenhouse, whether it's flies or wasps or bees or lots of things get caught in there and it's not really an issue, but they're not just in the greenhouse. They're all over the front door too. I'll take a close-up picture of those and put it in the video right here. If you have any idea what those things are, I haven't done a ton of looking online yet. Most of them started just popping up in the last couple of days. Really until this point, there's been a few around, but right now there's just tons of them. And if they're not good, I don't want them around. They don't seem to bite us or anything, but I don't know if they're going to eat plants or eat our house or whatever. Let us know what they are in the comments down below. And then let's talk about beetles. We have a couple different beetles that are pests on our property that have turned up so far this year. The lily beetle is one of our biggest. It will basically chew stargazer lilies down to the ground in a matter of a couple days. Once you see them, you've got very little time to get rid of them. Uh, neem oil is our preferred way to treat for them. Uh, it's organic, it's, you know, by and large, not as harmful as some of the other chemicals out there. So that's what we choose to use on them. We also use neem oil on the rose bushes that you see behind me for Japanese beetles. We tend to get a lot of them there. The neem oil is not gonna be as effective as some of the more harmful chemicals out there, but they're more harmful chemicals, which is why we don't like to use them. That's where we're gonna leave it for today. Like I said, if you guys know anything about any of the pests that I showed pictures or video of, let us know. If you know the easiest way to get rid of them, we'd love to hear it. As always, thanks for watching the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and have a great day. Bye.